strong republic I like Kong. Speaking your truth on the mic Kong. Hit the subscribe and like Time to Kong-Kaz. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Kongcast coming to you right here in Kong Republic Studios. My name is Yans and I am your host and here is my co-host. What Mr. up guys? Mr. Christian Moodley. <laughs> <laughs> and then behind the camera, we have Mr. DJ Nova behind the sound, you know, making us look pristine as always. Now we are a creative hub for all artists and creatives. Our services include photography, videography. If you are a musician, we can also have you recording music upstairs. If you want to start your own podcast, we have the space right here. And here at Kong Republic, we embrace all talent. And in the room today, we have a very, very special guest. Yes, That's sir. right, ladies and gentlemen, a multi-talented artist. I mean, <laughs> an incredible actor. Somebody who's been featured on feature shows like Is Timbi So and also on movies like How to Ruin Christmas. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the one, the only, Sandy Le Matang. Amen. Hey, man. Hey. Hey. That was quite the introduction, man. Uh, <laughs> Trying to make me blush in front of the people. Why are you doing this to me, man? Uh, no, you're good, man. Bro, you're, yeah, good. Man, you're quite the you're quite the personality. Yes, sir. Thank you, thank you so much. Big deal, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why we brought you here. Nah, nah, you know, you thank deserve you those flowers. You deserve that intro all yeah, the way, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Thank you, man. All right, so normally how we start off the show, right? Yeah, yeah. We yeah. start off with some icebreakers, Nyana. Oh, you know, okay. Just to okay. get you in the feel, you know, in the mood and everything. Reach for the drink, and I was like, ah, that kind of that kind of podcast. Normally how we start. The show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. We got you easy for now. We got you easy for now. So he normally gets you first, you know, when it comes to the icebreaker. So, so I'm going to start first. Yes, cool, sir. Cool, cool. Something very chill. What's your favorite food? My favorite food? Cheese. Um, I just eat everything. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But what I'd go for, I'd go for a. Oh, oh, oh. I actually do have a favorite food. Oh, yeah. yeah. It is swordfish steak. Have you guys had that? Swordfish oh, no. steak. Oh, oh, no, dude, no. I was the first time having it. I was like, you know what? This, this is not my favorite this food. This is not your favorite oh, dude, it was amazing. Where did you have it? Uh, somebody special cooked it for ah, me. <laughs> okay, so I'm a maybe special. that's why it tasted yeah. so good. Yeah, it tasted amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's why. Yeah, it tasted amazing. It was really good. Amazing. It was really good. Yeah, yeah it's the first time I heard about that dish. Oh yeah. yeah but, but nonetheless, with my icebreaker, no, no, I'll ask you, what is the most useful item you've purchased this year? Oh, my laptop, man. Oh, okay. ah, dude, you know, you know, I used to do a lot of things. I. I I was always that person who's like, I, if I could do it on my phone, I'm good. You know, yeah. I'm always on the move anyway. So sure. if I do it on my phone, I'm good. But I'd always get cluttered and overwhelmed with a lot of schedules and a lot of things. And as soon as I bought my laptop, man, I bought it this year and I was like, okay, I'm going to fold. I'm mm. going to buy another laptop. I mean, the last time I bought a laptop was in 2020. 13 yeah oh and i was that guy oh it's been a minute eh? it's been a minute yeah. then i was like nah this year has gotten a lot it's gone crazy so i just bought a laptop and it's made my life oh 100 easier and yeah. i was like why why haven't i not been doing, this? doing this i right. get it now i get why people go to starbucks i really get it and yeah. yeah that's my most is that what you've been doing going to starbucks in your work no or? no 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 no. i don't go <laughs> there. he's way too famous <laughs> i find i find a, a garage and i chill there with a garage with wi-fi in my car and i just ah do you think that's a joke i don't i don't do that i'm I'm at home on my laptop oh you're a good guy okay cool so let's get right into it so 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 you're a big famous actor right but like let's go a little bit back let's go a little bit back what was the first movie you watched that inspired you to enter this realm of acting Mm. shoo shoo that is that is a question that's taking me it has to be the truth it has to take me way back yeah um, look, I won't tell you the specific movie, to be honest with you, but uh, a specific actor. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I mean, I grew up. I grew up watching Jim Carrey. Oh yes. Oh, oh yes. And I yeah. just, yeah, mm-hmm. like, no, everybody did. Right? Yeah. Yes, bro. And yeah. I, just, I just, I just fell in love with the way that he's able to be so completely different to his, 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 his person. You know, like yeah. his actual person. And when he plays a specific character, he's just so OTT. And and it's just so amazing how a person can switch from that to that. You know, when yeah, you see, when definitely. you when you think about it, when you really think about it, it's actually very difficult to do that. You know? Yeah, a person you don't. It's, it's, you could, don't just wake up one day and go, I'm going to be a different person to that level. Mm. And it's like, wow, that's very interesting. And then I studied more about that and I wanted to watch more of him. And I started seeing different ways of acting from different other people. And I was like, wow, this is actually a craft, you know? And then, mm. yeah, that's, that's, that's the person. So would you say his movies inspired you? Initially, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Initially, yeah. initially. Then there's been more, obviously, as the years progress. Mm, that, you know, it, it gets better as, as, as you grow. And as you understand the craft more, you know what to look for like when you're watching things and and more things 
things have inspired me. Mm-hmm. Since, yeah, yeah. But no, he's he's a phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's Jim Carrey. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's switches switches up. Real yeah, 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 yeah. And he switched quick. up a whole lot. You know? Know, like <laughs> this this last year, it was a difficult year because he switched up a bit too much. Yeah. 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 And we we tend to do that as actors where we lose ourselves from the craft, and 100%. so and so we become what you know the characters, the characters basically. Yeah. But yeah. No, oh, cool, yeah. man. Well, cool. besides being like an incredible actor, right? You are also an intellectual of note, G. Uh, Am we I? Know, yeah, yeah, we know you have a degree in electrical engineering. Oh, yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That. We know you have yeah, a degree have that, in that. Yeah. But what I want to know is like balancing the two, right? Electrical engineering, which is intellect and, you know, more, yeah. more pro. And then you have your acting. What made you go into acting and pursue that full time? Oh, dude. Yo, how much, how long do we have? Uh, <laughs> right, let's go. <laughs> let's go. It's you. I mean, to start that, I'd have to start from the beginning, man. Um, I started out, I'm from Middleburg in Pumalanga, right? Sure. You, you know, that's, that's a mining town. Mm. And when you grow up in a place like that, you look up to people who are mostly in the, um, the mining industry because that's the environment. For sure. You know, you go to school and Fridays you go home and you walk and then you see them in the park there with their nice cars and the girls and the alcohol. And you're like, mm. dude, I want to be one of those mm. guys. You know? yeah. Yeah. So grade 10, they come, these, 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 this company comes and it gets me and it says, okay, you're good at maths and science. We want to teach you more. You know, we want you to come work for us later on. And so mm. I was trained generic. So I can actually like wire this whole place, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So... <laughs> So yeah, uh, they took me. They t- took me to train the training center. I trained and I trained and I trained, and then mm. I went to 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 the northwest to go work in a mine. Right, I worked there right. for about a year. I was still an apprentice, getting becoming an, an artisan. Mm. Now here's the thing: when I got there, uh, I was I was 19 years old. Right. I was earning like 6k, and for a 19 year old man. Uh, 6K, 6k is a lot right, you know? right. yeah. so I'm thinking to myself yo no I've made it man I've made it I'm yeah. gonna marry a yellow bone girl from the northwest who speaks Twana right. you know I'm gonna have kids and everything and then God was like nah actually that's not you that's not where you're gonna go hmm. I got into an accident in the mines that I nearly died oh no yeah I'm, wow. not, gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna go into too much detail but sure. I took on potentially that's not what I did but potentially 13,000 volts from Ooh, a transformer, oh my, my step down transformer. So it's SCOM 33 volts, 33,000 volts, step down to 13,000 volts. And I cut that cable and it snapped Jeez. on me and I almost died. And so long story short, I went back home six months there. I was like, look, I want to study further, you know, because I just did my, my, my N1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. The courses in technical uh, varsity. Mm. And then I was like, I want to study further. I want to get a degree. Mm. You know, and then I was like, okay, let me go study. Yeah. And when I went to go study, I was really that guy. I was that engineering guy in school. Like I didn't do anything. I was just like, even my dress sense was just like, you know, I'm, I don't care. I'm yeah. just to study. Overalls. Yeah. <laughs> Until everybody started saying, yo, why don't you want to model? Mm. You look like you could model. Do you model? I'm like, no, man, don't tell me about that. I want to be an engineer. You know, I know where I'm, I have experience and stuff. I've been there. I know what it, you know. Mm. And, and, and long story short, uh, I started modeling and the modeling took me out of debt. I was in debt because my parents, because I, I just threw it on them, right? They sure. thought I was set. Sure. So I was like, guys, I'm back. I nearly died that side. Oh, snap. So what do you want to do on a study? Oh, snap. We don't have money for that. I'm like, no, I'll find money. And then I found money through the, the district that I was living in and they could only pay for the tuition and my parents could just now and then pay Help for the rent. Yeah, yeah. So I had to work hard uh, to pay for the rent, but I fell into debt and modeling took me out of debt. Mm. I got the first, my first ever gig was a KFC commercial. Oh, uh, right. I think people might remember that. It's like, uh, guys, I just found 20 bucks. Yeah. And then we run, we run through the, the city <laughs> to, go, to go to a KFC and that took me out of debt. And right. then I remember driving, but I mean, on the Khao train, going back to Pretoria, and I'm sitting there looking outside. I'm like, yo, 13 hours took me out of debt. Mm. And I loved every minute of the 13 hours. Mm-hmm. I want to do this for the rest of my life. Mm. And I think that was the moment. That was a switching moment for me when I was like, okay, you know, in the mines, not to disrespect the mines, but in the mines, you work extremely yeah, hard. Extremely right? hard. Hard work. For right? about, you know... 40 30 a month but right. you really work hard you know like yeah. a person will come to you and be like look i need this cable to go into that wall but it mustn't touch the wall mm. how yeah make a plan <laughs> <laughs> and you gotta make a plan you know 100%. so you gotta work hard and mm. and i was yeah. like yo yo i'm in the how train i'm going back home 13 hours of work and i'm like dude I love this. Mm. And the rest is history, man. Man, oh. your story is very similar to mine. I really? Lie. Very mm. similar. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I did industrial engineering. Oh, snap. I was working right here at Pamelad, five minutes away. Oh, straight <laughs> up. So you were like, <laughs> yeah, I'm out. I'm out. Also. I'm going five minutes away. <laughs> uh, no, like assistant artisan, all of that. Yeah, know, yeah, just, for yeah, real? Yeah, yeah oh. straight up. I, I finished an NQF5. Mm. Then I was like, nah, I stepped on set for one day and I was like, ah, boy, I'm done. You're done. I'm here and this is it. This is it. Yeah. There's man. something freeing about very me. 
be some ah, dude, something freeing about something being yourself. Free. 100%. Yeah, but that's crazy, man. Yeah. Thirteen thousand volts is a lot of power. Hey? It is. It is. Yo, it is. that people, that's, that's, I don't that's think people understand. You know that what that is. Yeah, like, that's that's hectic. Mm. For instance, a house takes two hundred and twenty volts of electricity. Mm. A factory usually uses a three phase system, mm. which yes. takes about three hundred and eighty volts. Yeah. Thirteen thousand volts. Yeah, it's, what is that? You know, bro, that's like uh, that, that, that's like the whole of uh, four waves <laughs> or something, bro. You know. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but, I was lucky. I was lucky to be alive. That, that's crazy, bro. Mm. But check, yeah, I don't know where they did something, sir, because you definitely have some electric fine uh, is that is that a fashion, pun <laughs> <laughs> electric fine yeah. fashionable sense <laughs> yeah hey he's using this it. man <laughs> spinning it he's got a weight to say that yeah, <laughs> okay just to give you a heads up bro I, I used to be CD at Ogilvy yeah. yeah so so marketing is my forte yeah. oh okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, so one of the accounts on who works yeah. Yeah, 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 is yeah. KFC <laughs> Oh really? Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Just yeah. to give you a heads up, I worked in the retail division. Is it, yeah. mm. dude? So KFC, Salsi, Discam, uh, Multi Choice as well. Mm, mm. Yeah, yeah. So we might have even crossed paths. Somewhere. Probably, probably. Yeah, because yeah. I think Ogilvy and Mathis, right? Yeah, Ogilvy and Mathis. Yeah, I think they were the ones who worked on. Yeah, on, on yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the account there. Mm. Yeah. 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 So that's so, interesting. So, so, <laughs> so, hence the reason I moved from your electric bike. Yeah. <laughs> Into the next question because yes. so you are a very fashionable guy. Mm. Very fashionable. You're yes. styling. Yes, yes. I know you see your model and stuff, but yo, you. Your fashion sense yeah, is is on another level, oh, thank bro. You, thank you, thank so, you. who is you? Who do you look up to from a style perspective? Oh, snap! You know, like I'll start from like where it initially started, yeah. um, and and a lot of people might even agree with this if they were to actually go back and see how I dress, like Lenny Kravitz. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Okay. And I, I don't dress exactly like him, but I've always said Lenny Kravitz is like, yo, he's got this this rock star bro, look to him. Even in yeah. his old age, he's still like, yo, isolated, still yeah. stunting, bro. You know, and then, like, as it progressed, obviously, uh, Kanye, the likes of mm. Kanye West, mm. they're the ones who inspired me. And, and some, some, some actors as well, like, you'd be watching the, the, their shows, you know, and you watch how they are outside, and you're like, that's actually a really good look. And mm. so, you know, inspiration is not a thing where you can say that you found it from one specific place. I For think sure. I think a majority, uh, um, there's a lot of things that, mm. that can inspire mm. you. And I think a lot of things have inspired my fashion sense. And, and yeah. And you made it your own, sir. Because you've got a unique, like, yeah. sense of fashion. Yeah. In a good way, obviously yeah. in a good way. Yeah, but, yeah. But, uh, uh, no, I mean, like, I think uh, that that's that's very cool, man. Thanks, you know, man. Thanks. Yeah, it's a- you know, I actually want to bring out something, bro. Okay. Just to show you real quick. Now, my question is: In 2020, you were the breakout star for GQ. Oh, snap. This GQ man magazine. GQ. <laughs> this man the brought GQ, up the GQ. Right here. <laughs> now, I want to know, man. Like, just seeing this right now, right? Yeah. Coming from engineering, coming from everything that you've been through, you know, all your journey and everything. Yeah. Just seeing this. On GQ breakout star, what was the reaction to it all? <laughs> shock. <laughs> oh yeah, mm-hmm. I think initially it was shock. It's like you don't you don't think that people are watching like that. Right. You just do what you what you're doing, and 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 I think that's the the conversation we had, and just earlier now when we're yeah. talking about just doing what you want to do 100%. and the freedom of that. And 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 to get that recognition is like is like it's shocking because you you genuinely didn't think anybody was watching. You, I'm just doing me, you know. Right. Um, after that, it's gratitude because then you get thrown back as to like, yo, remember that one day when you almost quit? Right. You see how it all turned out well? Yeah. Because we all have those two minds, right? There's the mind that says let's go, and the mind that says let's, let's not leave it. Yeah. And 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 my favorite quote is one of my favorite quotes is that you know the one that succeeds is the one that you feed. Mm. It is the one that you feed. You mm. know. And and I learned to feed the wolf inside of me that said let's let's keep going, mm. let's just keep going. You know. And now you sit here and you say, okay, wow. I'm actually grateful for that, you know, right. I'm grateful for the ability to have that decision making to say, no, I'm going to consistently go. So ultimately it was shock and then it was gratitude, you know, it's mm. for that kid, uh, who is stuck, who's saying, look, I don't know what to do anymore. You know, yeah. I might just, you know, I might just end it. Yeah. And you're like, dude, it's tough. Yes. But if you have a passion and you have a, if you have a goal, uh, persistence will take you there. 100%. You know? Just be, just believe in yourself because that's the biggest thing. Um, if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will. And mm. you shouldn't put that on other people as well, you know, because mm. everybody else is dealing with their own things. But if you were the one who is your biggest um, motivator and your biggest hype man and your biggest cheerleader, um, you know, you're going to succeed mm. ultimately. Yeah. If you stay in your lane, you're going to succeed ultimately. Mm. And, and, and that's what that image represents for me. That's oh. amazing, bro. Yeah, man. Humble, man. But I mean, like, 
Look, you know, you, you're obviously very fly, bro, because they won't put you on the cover. They'll put you on the inside yeah, pages. Yeah. They put you on the cover, bro. Yeah, you know? yeah. They couldn't find anything better, but you were the best in, bro. Oh, so, Jeez, so, so, so you definitely fly, you know. Thank but, you, but, you know, talk about being fly, bro. You know, all fashionable people, icons, they partner up with companies, for example, like Kanye with Gap, yeah. you know. And I want to ask you a question. If you were in a situation where you could partner up with the brand to create your own line, which brand would resonate with you, sir? Yo, um, I'd have to say, I, I'm not going to go luxury uh, because I think everybody will go luxury. But Adidas would have to be the one for me. Um, you know, I was, in, I was in the Mall of Africa the other day and I passed by the... the I shouldn't really be marketing them. This <laughs> <laughs> uh, shout out to that, yes. Yeah. Yeah. We need sponsorship right here, yeah, sir. But, 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 yeah, <laughs> look, if you, you know, I'm already doing it because it's, it's a love, so make sure. Yes. I, was, I, was, I didn't even know that they did it like this, right? And so I was, I was in Mall of Africa, the Adidas there, just next to the gas. I walked inside that and I saw very... Um, fashion forward looks by adidas mm. and i was like dude you know that's i'm also starting a brand soon with a friend of mine his name is king um he's, he's actually a great designer and mm. we walked in there and we we're like wow this is actually uh, something that we would do mm -hmm. they, they, they there's some forward fashion forward looks there you know yes. like they got a a shirt a leather shirt that breaks open like you could you could connect and it become a sweater jacket sure. thing and then they'll open it up and ah, it's become a okay. shirt it's, it's just amazing and that's the kind of thing that me and my my, my partner are, are going to be doing like that kind of fashion you know, okay. functional fashion what's your brand called sir that you uh you, you know say? Uh, you don't say right now uh i don't want to say right now nah. i really i don't want to say right now i'm gonna do it off camera and there's a reason for that but mm. yeah yeah the thing is people don't really like to people put i want my baby to be Null and void of people's uh, expectations. Mm, you know? okay. mm, I want mm. it to be just like like when it drops. I want them to be like, "Who is this?" Mm, okay. And then later find out who it's it is. You, okay, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. I don't wanna I don't wanna say it, and then people who don't like me won't buy, mm, and people ah. be like, "No, I remember when you know." That, so I don't wanna give any of that there. I think she yeah. she deserves to be born, and she deserves to be hidden for three months, like you know, babies yes. born mm. before they get shown to the public. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's the that's the route that I'm taking with oh, this. Where, but bro? yeah, it's it's beginning. Yeah, it's I can see you're very passionate yes. about this. Oh, right? truly, truly, truly. Mm. truly Truly, truly, man. So it's it's it started out with the fact that it's very difficult to find fashion that's um that, that the fashion that I like. Okay. So I'm like, if 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 I can't find it, then let me make it. Mm. You know, and and it wasn't even about the whole I want to sell it to people and everything like that. I just mm. started with the fact that if I, I can't find it. So let me make it. Make it. Sure. And luckily, my friend is just a brilliant designer, and he designed something for me. And I was like, bro. I want to make this. Mm. And then we made one and we were like, bro. And my designer is now designing for uh, Musa Keys, but. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Then you know they, you they, got... they, They're in the chats. They're in the proper Sheesh. chats. And, and, and I'm, 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 I'm really looking forward to you guys seeing what, what they're working on as yeah. well. We're looking forward to shooting. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> actually, 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 a conversation. Yeah. No, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Adidas, yeah. yeah Adidas Jeez. should be the, the brand that I like oh, to where, collaborate with. Wow. Yeah. Well, I mean, when it comes to fashion, you know, you always have to step out, you know, make sure people see you. You of know, course. Make sure people see your fits and everything. So, but also, I mean, yeah. More importantly, I yeah. mean, you gotta feel good in it yourself, sure. mm, right? Sure. I think it's like people say, "I want to step out. I want to look different," you know. Right. And then they don't look comfortable. Like right. you're walking around and you're like, "Yeah, it's different," but you don't look comfortable, you know. Mm -hmm. I think the big thing is that you gotta be comfortable in it. Comfortable. In yeah, it. and I think that's the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when it comes to that, I mean, people seeing you out and about and stuff. We know you travel quite a bit because yeah. of your career. Yeah. You know, of all the places you visited, where has been your favorite for you to actually hang out and chill? Oh, I'm gonna sound like um I'm gonna sound like everybody. I'm like <laughs> it's Cape Town. Oh, uh, yeah, bro. It's Cape Town. Cape um Town. Camps Bay, man. Camps mm. Bay. There's just a vibe there that I like. It's I don't even like doing things. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I, don't like, I don't like just doing things. I just know, right? being, there. There. being there, being on the balcony <laughs> and just listening to the waves and just and just drinking what I'm drinking. Ooh. That's it for me. You know, mm. it's really, dude, it's really a wonder of the world, hey. Eh? Because, oh, it's beautiful. because I mean, like uh Cape Town is low-key celebrities next, like uh, I'm talking about worldwide. Yeah, favorite worldwide. destination. Yeah, it's like that, that's the go-to spot, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know, if they could be 
Um, you know, 10th wonder definitely would be Cape Town. It would be Cape Town, yeah. the 10th yeah, wonder yeah. of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just love how, how different it is. Like, you go to Cape Town and each section of Cape Town is just so different, different you know. Mm. That's why they shoot a lot there. Mm. They shoot a lot of yeah. films there because of the fact that each location is just so different. different. Don't and know the big where sound are. stages are there mm. as well, up mm. there as well. Exactly. Yeah. Have you been to those sound stages? I actually haven't, no. Oh, no. it's amazing, bro. Mm. No, it's absolutely, I haven't been, but yeah. I just, from the videos and all that, yeah, you, yeah. Know, you know, yo, it's absolutely nah, amazing. The aesthetic there is too much, It's too much. You know, like, even mm. uh, celebrities, your Lady Gaga's property there. Yeah, yeah. Michael B. Jordan's oh, property. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Oh, seriously. Oprah. Oprah's, Oprah's property Oprah. there. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. One thing I noticed that one thing I noticed when I was shooting a commercial, I was shooting a Sal C commercial, I think. Mm. And I went to Cape Town. That was uh, one of my first times going alone and going there to actually see the place. You know, we all been to Cape Town with our yes. folks mm. and everything. Yes. And we mm. just go to a hotel and we're back, you know, that kind of thing. But I was actually touring the place. And and I saw something that was like, yo, this is different. The CBD there. Oof. I couldn't tell that it was a CBD. They're like, this is, oh, this is the CBD. I'm like, this is not the CBD. So. <laughs> yeah. I know this is CBD. <laughs> I yeah. know. Where are the yeah. smells? Yeah. Yeah. We know Zubek. Where is that water that trickles down from somewhere that we don't know <laughs> yeah. where it comes from, but it's carrying everything? <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's when I was like, wow, okay, this place is a little yeah, different. Yeah, Cape Town CBD clean. is very fresh. Right? I, I don't want to say it's clean or it's dirty. I don't want to say other places are dirty. He hey, said that hey, from his mouth. Hey, I'm not saying other places are dirty. I'm just saying, I was like, why, where's the smells, man? Yeah, where's yeah. that one KFC smell that you smell somewhere, but you can't see it? Yeah. Where's that? There's none of that. This is oh, very man. interesting, man. Yeah. Oh, where, bro? Yeah. Where, where? But so, you know, you said you shot an adver uh, advertisement, right? And I know you started off your career doing a lot of commercials. Yeah. So, quick question. How did commercials prepare you to move into mainstream? That's, that's, that's a very nice question. No way, right? That's a very nice question. Um, one thing that happened is that I shot about 13 commercials mm -hmm. in, in a span of like two years, I think. And Oof. yeah. That's intense, bro. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a busy two years. Mm -hmm. and, and I realized that, um, Sure, the money's nice, right? Yeah. Uh, commercial money is it's good. Nice. Very good. But money. that three month thing is up there's a problem. Yeah, mm -hmm. They got that three month thing <laughs> that you're like, what am I gonna do for the next three, three months, months, you know? Yeah. But I, it got to a point where I realized that, yes, I'm on television, but the only people who see me on television are the people that you that know me. If mm -hmm. you don't know a person, you won't see them on TV. It's mm -hmm. the funniest thing, right? Yeah. Like, if you watch a commercial, you'll watch the commercial, but you can walk out tomorrow and, and see, see the, the same guy. person, mm -hmm. but not recognize him. Mm -hmm. you know? And so I was like, that's a problem, because my mom is like telling people, yo, now I'm on TV, I'm mm -hmm. commercial, commercial, I'm a commercial, I'm people especially don't know me. Mm -hmm. And there's no credits. So I can do 13 commercials, but it's not, there's no credits. It's mm. not under my name. So I mm. basically didn't do anything. Mm. So I was like, nah, I want something that's going to put credits. You know, some, my name has to be there because I'm doing all this work. Mm. You know, I'm right. not just here. I'm doing all this work. And then I was like, okay, let me move into acting. Mm. And that was a tricky one because um, it's different, right? Mm. <clears throat> Completely different. Yeah. Acting yeah. is different yeah. to commercials. Uh, long form. Super, it's, know, it's different. So I had to uh, orchestrate a plan where I collect all of my footage. Because I found out that you need to get a different agency also. Yeah. Mm. I, I, I compiled all my footage to make sure that I get into an agency. So, so luckily, my, sh my, my, my commercials were me leading. All 13 were me leading. Yes. So I had some screen yeah, time. Yeah, that's important. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. sure. can't just be that guy. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, no. The guy on the Walking, side. Yeah, or whatever. So luckily, I was leading. So I compiled all of them, sent them to an agency. They're like, okay, we see you. You have screen, what's the, what's the word? Screen. Charisma. Charisma or <laughs> yeah. something. And then, yeah. then they're like, but we don't know if you can act. Um, luckily, I acted uh, in, in, in high school. High school, right. I was doing uh, monologues and stuff for the National Estate. Oh, Fred. no yeah, way. I was doing monologues, like dramatic monologues, uh, comedic monologues. Uh, it's basically theater. That's so dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. So, so that was my pastime. I used mm. to do that to get away from my bullies. Mm. But anyways. <laughs> 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 right. But anyway, that's, that's actually the truth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so I did. So I understood what it meant to act. And mm -hmm. I didn't understand it fully, but I understood what it meant and what they'd be looking for. And they asked for a monologue and I knew what that was. So I recorded mm -hmm. a monologue, sent it to them. They're like, okay, let's see you. And then I came for an interview. Then I, I got in, you know. Mm -hmm. And immediately when I got in, I think three months later, I landed my first sitcom. My first ever gig Sheesh. was a sitcom. It was um, uh, Single Guys. Season yeah. two, actually. Yeah. yeah. And that was actually after... 
See, now I jumped a couple of steps. I did a couple of extra jobs. Just you sure. know, we have to, just to understand, yeah. you know, just to understand what's going on. I did a couple yeah. of extra jobs, but I took some of those as well and I compiled them and then I got my first gig mm. single, single guys. Yeah. So that was an interesting transition. Transition. Yeah. 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 I had to formulate a plan. No, well, yeah. That, that's actually a very good answer. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's, it's good because we don't hear the side, you, you know? don't, yeah. 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 It's like, no, definitely. I went to an audition and I got it. Yeah. <laughs> That's well, exactly that's what it the, is. That's what the audience are thinking. You know, they don't they don't yeah. see the position, but yeah. you know, you clearly put some a lot of effort and thought into it. Oh. Prior to just had to. yeah, had to. Now the had preparation to. to do stuff. I mean, like you said, commercials, TV, yeah, completely different things. Preparing yeah. for commercials is a little bit easier. TV's a whole oh, other game. Jesus, man, whole if I could tell game. you, see, I'm even taking off my shades. <laughs> yeah, if I could tell you the preparation that comes into yes. like. It's it's a whole mind switch. 100%. It's a whole mind. I, I wanted to use a French word, but mm-hmm. I'm not going to say. Let's go. Cool. Can I use the French word? It's a whole French mind <laughs> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's it's, yeah. it's 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 crazy because um there's as I, I'm also still learning as mm. we go right. Mm. So 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 commercials, you know, it's 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 less talking, uh, more performance, performance mm. more sure. move your body. We're selling something. It's mm. selling, mm. and then you get into uh, the set of an acting place, right? And you're selling a character. Yes. You are you are selling something that is not physically here with you. Mm. You know, I can sell this. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Silver <laughs> cups. <laughs> For your family, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. But when you get into like um, a, a soapy or telenovela, you're literally selling a character, character that is sure. not there. Mm. So you have to learn how to create characters. Mm. Really, because when you, when you come into a show, you'll always walk in, right, as the new character. But mm. rem- we have to remember as an actor is that that's not where the character was born. Yes. Mm. This character is how old? 28 years 20, old. So this yes. character has been alive for 28 years yes. old. What, are, what, what were his experiences? Back stories. You have to create that 100%. whole thing. So it stays in your back, in the back of your mind. And when you're performing it, it, it plays like there. a program, yes. you know? And, and that was the most difficult thing. Like you have to really, really, and remember you have to be present. That's mm. the most important thing about acting. Yes, there's a script. And listening. You read, yeah. You, you, did you, did ah, you go you, to the same, you already know. The same acting coach? No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we together, yeah. But yeah, so, mm. so that was the biggest mind f- dude. The, the whole thing. Yes, it's, it's written on paper, but you have to know these lines, mm. but also you must listen to this person listen. and really listen to this person yes. because this line might say this, mm. But they might say, say it, it in a different way, mm. for sure. And now you, you like, let's, let's we can play right now. Yeah. Say, say, say. Uh, the, the script says, "I love you." Say it to me. I love you. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I can't then yeah. say, "I love you too." I, yeah, you, you have to react. I, mean? I, have to say, I love, love you. you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> yeah. You know, I thought I'd give you that too. too. Yeah. And so th- learning that, man, that was that was the, yeah. the mind that I was telling you, switching from commercial to acting. Wow. Yes. And that's, that's when you get casting. Sorry, that's when you get casting directors saying. We need actors, not models. Not models, yeah. for sure. And I don't blame the models for getting there and being model. <laughs> Modeling, like, yeah. Know? It's a whole different. It's, it's a, a whole different game. Yeah, man. man. That's crazy. Jeez. I feel like I'm in a screenplay myself right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I mean, you're transitioning, you know, from commercials to TV and everything. Obviously, you said there's a lot of difference, you know, in between. So what is your advice to upcoming actors who want to transcend from just commercials to And I know you, you know, made TV. that interesting point, which which was so, it like blew my mind where yeah. you said getting the credits is actually very important. important. Yeah. But uh, I mean, I mean, that alone was just so like amazing. But, yeah. but what is your advice nice. to upcoming people with no experience and no mm. commercial and nothing under their belt? Where would they start? And acing auditions, especially like, what would you say is the key to like, ah, let's ace this? I think I think I think we we it'd be very irresponsible for me to not start here. Yeah. First of all, ask yourself why you're doing it. Ask uh-huh. yourself why you why are you why do you want to enter this industry? Why do you want to get into it? Mm-hmm. Why? What's the real reason? Like, and that's all, you are the only person who can answer that. Um, um, really, be honest with yourself. Is it because you want the fame? Is it because you want the money? It, which is majority that's the or is it because <laughs> is it because you you are really passionate about it and then as soon as you answer those three questions let's say you do decide to say that you're passionate about it then you have to ask yourself this what about it makes it what what, what why are you passionate about it what about it fuels you what about it drives you what, what's the what's the basis there and as soon as you get to the answer that that is okay i still want to do it get yourself some education some form of education when i started out in 2017 uh, Tabang and I, Tabang Mulaba and I, yeah. we were crazy, man. <clears throat> we were crazy with educa- yo, yo, we were driving each other crazy. Like I, we were, we were buying books. 
I've read, you know, because the thing is, you always know that you're going to have, um, you're going to be, uh, what's this, one one step behind the people who actually studied this thing, because I didn't Definitely. study this thing. So I wanted to get, make sure that I get the syllabus, you know, and make sure I get it right. I've watched uh, the top 250 IMDb movies, dude, mm. you know, all of them, you know. Oh, I know, wow. I, you know, because they, 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 we are chill, we are chill with actors, and yeah. they'd be like, the ones who studied, and they're yeah. like, yo, Citizen Kane, <clears throat> yo, I loved it when you said Rosebud. Mm. <laughs> like, what? What's it? Is that? Yeah. <laughs> What's that? You know? And it's like, yeah. it's a movie. And then you're like, oh, snap. Then it's all about Casablanca. Have you watched Casablanca? Mm. Have you watched Armadale's? You know, I'm like, mm. I've never watched that one. How old is this movie? It's from 1863. I'm like, mm. why would I watch in 1860? You know? Mm. But you have to. It's the yeah. education. So you, you, so you actually watched like really old movies to actually learn from. I you did. Know? And I wow, love them though. Bro. But I, you know, it, 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 funny thing about black and white movies is that when you start it, it sucks. But near the, near the middle, yes. it, you start seeing the color. <laughs> it, sure. Which is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. seeing the color of the movie uh but yeah i did and and i read you know i was like what books are, are people reading what mm. what 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 are we studying you know it's um an actor prepares which is constantine stellas love and i actually know this word constantine stanislavski yes an actor prepares uh sanford meisner on acting stella adler yeah. you yes. know those kind that's of things method acting people. you know well sure. well stella adler yeah. are we gonna go there ah, no no no, no let's not okay. go there yeah, <laughs> yeah. so you yeah. need to know these things you know you need to know about the group theater you know you mm. need to really understand what acting is about you know and then and then because let me tell you something if you're gonna come to casting directors you know like the really good ones um you know agencies they know if you know, you know. I'll tell you an, like, like my, my own experience. So I went to MLA. That's my new age. That's my agent. It's been my agency for about three years now, I think, three or yes. four. And I was lucky enough to meet uh, Munin. Uh, may her soul rest in peace. Uh, mm -hmm. I was lucky enough to meet her. And she was the one who, who sort of did the interviews for me to come into the agency. And I, I kid you not, this lady could read your soul, right? Mm. And I think that's why she was so great. Uh, she was looking at me. She'd ask me questions. So why do you want to do this and then i'd answer the question and then she'd look at you yeah hey, i know <laughs> I'd be like, you know what oh. i mean like they yeah. really go in there yeah. you know and and i think as an act if you want to be like an if you want to be an actor do the education like get get it done like by education i don't mean go to school i mean just really understand what you're getting yourself into For okay sure. Uh, you also ask uh, the audition process. Mm -hmm. The audition process differs uh, from casting director to casting director. Mm -hmm. I think the big thing is just having charisma as you come in. Don't bore them. They've been seeing a hundred people the whole day, man. Yeah. You know, you don't get there and be old. You know, you are here to get the job. You are. This is you. Mm -hmm. And they've always said this. They're like, we're looking for you. They always say this. They're like, they wish that the next person to come in is the person we're looking for. So mm -hmm. they are looking for you. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and they want you to be the one because they don't want to stay here yeah. any longer. That's a joke they always make. Um, but it's different. Bomb, Bomb Shouts, a film um, company, auditions in a different way. They give you improv. Oof. You improvise. <laughs> Angus Gibson will sit there and you'll be like, <clears throat> so, you're on a train and a guy walks up to you and says he wants the time and you want to help this guy. Action. <laughs> you're just sitting there, you're like, okay, <laughs> I'll give hey, you what I got. You know? yeah. So they're different. So you just have to be prepared. Yes, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's what they that's do. So crazy, yeah. I'm so stoked yeah. that I'm not an actor. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it seems like so much pressure. It's, a lot. it's, yeah. a, lot. it's yeah. a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, just know your education. I think just that's know it. Your education. Just really go in, go deep, like be sure of it. 100%. And really go crazy. Well, guys, on that note, you know already, know your education. And right now, we're going to educate you on something that we are super proud of here at Kong Republic. We are official nominees for the African Social Entertainment Awards for yes, Podcast sir. of the Year, ladies and gentlemen, for Podcast of the Year. Please show your support to Kong Republic, SMS R2 Kong Republic to 48068. The details will be right below. But until then... We will be right back after this ad break. Now, for a limited time, get your exclusive photo shoot for only 2,450 Rand and get a free A1 canvas print. This special includes 20 high resolution images, three hours of editing and retouching, two background options of your choice, includes photographer, gear hire, assistant, and refreshments. Get your exclusive photo shoot done at Kong Republic Studios based here in Kyalami Midrand. 
Hey, what's good, Conquerors? Welcome back to Concast. And today we have our special guest in the building, the one, the only, Mr. Sandile Masangu. Hey. This guy's good. Yeah, yeah. man. Now we guy's very good. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back, Conquerors. Yeah. Oh, conquerors. Conquerors, man. It's very funny. Yeah. 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 Major Steve's called us what Gorilla Boys. <laughs> gorilla Boys. Yeah, the gorilla Gang. 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 <laughs> it's nice. A nice name. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Everything. Concast, yeah. everything. Con- conquerors, you know. There's a lot to can work to, with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Con- no, consequences. Having... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in that. case one of us step out yeah. of line. Con- consequences. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but we're having a good interview thus far, man. We have an actor in the building, ladies and gentlemen. And yeah, second phase is up. But let's so, get right into it. Yes, sir. So, so you said you did theater in school, right? Yeah, yeah. And that, that's amazing because, you know, theater and TV... The two different worlds. Okay? Ah, I love that you said that. Yeah. And, and it's because different. they really are. They though. really are. And, and, yeah. and it takes so much like different talents or different expertise to kind of mm. yeah. perfect yeah. Um, them individually. But could you give us your opinion on what is really the major difference between theater and TV? I think it's very simple. Uh, it, it, yeah. it really is. Uh, <laughs> you know, theater, it's for people. You're performing in front of people. Mm. And and you have to, because you have to accommodate everybody in the theater. They mm. have to experience the same thing that this person down here is experiencing. Sure. You know? mm. And so you have to be grandiose in your movements. You have to be, you have to be expressive is what they say. You have to express yourself. You have to make dynamic movements and you have to take drastic steps to, to you know what I mean? So yeah. the person there who can feel the same thing that this person is feeling, they will have to experience the same thing. Yeah. Film and television <clears throat> also branches out, by the way. Film and television are also two different things, mm. you know. Mm. Uh, we'll start with, with TV per se. Mm-hmm. I, I heard, uh, I read, I don't know if it's true, but don't quote me on it, mm. that soapies began as commercials. No way. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. That they, they began as commercials for like infomercials mm, to mm, sell things, products mm. to people who were at home at the time, which were oh. wild. I know, wild. I know the radio, that's how the radio yeah. started yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so something along those lines. Mm-hmm. That's what they call soap, soapies, yeah. right? Yeah. The soap industry yeah. actually created these infomercials oh. that would have storylines yeah. for the women at home mm-hmm. to watch and see, oh, I want this soap, you know, and they started product oh. placement and become, oh, became something wow. bigger and bigger. Oh, but, yeah. but because it started uh, as, as infomercials, and stuff they also have this hint of uh, grandioseness mm. if that's a word a uh, hint of of, of um, drama to it they have to bring the drama yeah. mm. you know we've always watched these sitcoms where the, the housewife is watching the drama shows you know right. Alejandro mm. you know yeah. so that's the thing that, that's a separation between the t- film and TV you know mm. like the Alejandro mm. if you watch television they have this dramatic pause every time a person leaves let's say we're having a, an argument and I want to kill you mm. and you don't know I want to kill you and we just have a proper conversation. Then yeah. you walk away, and then the camera stays on me. Yeah, and I go, and just, yeah, expression, power, mm. and then you know, cuts. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. that's something that's very prevalent in, in television. That's not there in mm. film, and it should, probably shouldn't be on film. But mm. people do do it now nowadays. I hope they don't actually. But yeah, yeah, film is a little different. Film is, mm. is, is a lot of stillness. Mm. Film is more realistic. It's 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 we're portraying something real in the moment. You know, like mm. realness. You know, and and as a person speaks, if I want to kill you, I'm never going to show you. Mm. You know, I'm, I'm not thinking audience. Mm. That's what television does. I'm thinking audience, audience, you know, and I shouldn't, but but a majority of people, majority of people in the industry do, you know, they think mm. audience. So I'm going to show the audience that I'm going to kill this one. And do you right. have a preference? Yeah. Like, yeah. What, like between, I, because, you know, you got I love, so I love, I love, I love film, dude. Uh, yeah. film, film is very subtle. I remember my first film was Sharp Six and mm. the director there, because I was from a sitcom going into a uh, film and he kept on saying to me, tone it down. <laughs> All right. Tone it down. Okay. Like, no, 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 no. Just tone the energy down. I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Someone tone down the energy. What are you saying? You yeah. know, I didn't get it. I didn't mm. get tone down the energy meant. Right. You know, it meant it meant just be just be here. Mm. Just yeah. be here. Don't don't be anywhere else. Too just much. be here. Just be relaxed. Sure. You know, be as human as you most possibly can be, you know. Yeah. And that's what film is about. The greatest actors have this thing. They've mastered they've mastered um the art of stillness. That's actually a book. I think it's Uta Hagen, if I'm not too, Uta Hagen, if I'm not too, uh, if I'm not wrong. But yeah, the art of stillness, mm. where you're still and you're really listening and your performance is all in the eyes, yes. yeah. not even your body, which is interesting because if you watch people and you watch, because I people watch a lot, if you watch people and they have conversations with each other, they don't move. Mm. They really do. Mm. If they're going to move, like you see right now, this is, they really do. Mm. That's, that's, that's a lot. 
I'm saying a lot, you know. Mm. And and film looks for those little things, those little things, and they look right. for your eyes. And I think that's what's nice. I really love playing with my eyes. Yeah. And, you know, I like and us I, to have a conversation. Theater is tough as well, man, because theater is one take. <clears throat> Theater, One take the whole way, you, but they have a lot of rehearsals. A lot, yes, yes, but, and they have the a lot thing. of stamina because they rehearse <laughs> yeah. so so yeah. much, and they 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 forever rehearsing and they yeah. forever performing. They perform yeah. like three shows a day. Uh, but they, they they have a lot of rehearsal time yeah. and it's one go. You one know? go. And it's it's improv proper. on the go too sometimes. On the go sometimes the go. too. If they yeah. improv, yeah. That's yeah. those are the skilled, the very skilled ones. Sure. Eh? Those ones are yeah. very skilled. Don't want to play with those ones. No. Those ones will, will make you look They'll show you, mm. yeah. They'll show you flames. But yeah, I prefer film. Film. Film is very nice. Yeah. Um, we, we we can really play there, like yeah. energy wise, you yeah. know. Mm. Like if, if if I were to, you know, if we think about film and we think about all the things that we've done in the past and mm. and all those things. And, but do you see how your energy has also just Changed. sort of dropped because yeah. of my energy dropping? And and film allows for that to really happen. This is so yeah. crazy. I feel, I feel like I'm getting like um, uh, uh, what is the best the best learning lesson in the world. I, I just want to say this that like um, growing up, uh, we went to drama school, and I really was passionate about acting and that kind of stuff. Mm. And then I gave up immediately because the the first I think the first year I went through yeah. there was this awards thing. And uh, we went we went for this year, and then my sister was sick, so she never ended up coming in. And my sister got like four awards, and I got nothing. Uh-huh. And like, uh, I had to go and take a damn award though. Yeah. It was so frustrating, and then I was like, no, stuff this year. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna ride a horse <laughs> or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it's not for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then from that, like, you know, it just like, I was like, no, this is not cut out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, I wanna ask you, like, um, when you're talking about film, right? Preparing for a role for film, mm. what what do you do in order to just prepare for it and get yourself mentally psyched? I mean, I, I feel like I've already kind of answered it, yes, um, yeah. but I'll give you the origins of it's where okay. I got to that. Sure. Uh, my acting coach, Patricia Boyer, she mm. she she did this for me for my first role. Right, this is a thing that I take everywhere now. But she did it for my first role. She's like, <clears throat> go back to the birth of your character. Mm. Literally, go back to the birth of your character. They, they give you, you know, when they give you your character, they give you a biography. They yeah. give you what type of person he is and what he does and yeah. where he's from and all that kind of thing. And you take all that. It's like mathematics, actually. Now that I think about it, it's like a word word sum. Mm-hmm. They give you a word sum and you have to break it down into integers and fill in all the missing blanks. And, and so what I do is that I go back to the birth and I'm like, okay, this person is narcissistic. It's written here, he's narcissistic. What is narcissism? Mm. And what makes a person narcissistic? Oh, it's a trauma. Oh, it's a trauma from where? It's a childhood trauma. Trauma. Okay, Mm. what could have happened? And so now I'm filling in the blanks. Mm. Oh, maybe the father was, because the father is not here in the show, so that means the father left. Okay, the father must have abused the mother because the mother, and then I go to the mother, the mother here has a controlling problem. Oh, okay, then I just play, you know, I play together, I link them together. Oh, you go into it. Yeah, Yeah. it's a passion. And then I create this character based on the the, the biography that he gave me. Mm. I'm like, let's see. When he was, this guy is very, he has trust issues. Okay, maybe when he was 16, this happened. Maybe, Mm. you know, Mm. maybe it didn't, maybe it did, but maybe, let's just say it did. You know, that could lead him to be this person that he is today. Mm -hmm. I think as soon as we do that, then we have a well-rounded character. Now we have an understanding of our character. Now we know, and I know, that if I leave Sandile behind, Mm. I'll go to a place that is solid. And then this is my mind. This is me going crazy. No, No, but it's good. This is is, is, is how we do it. like gems, bro. You're dropping gems here, bro. Because I'm like, like, I even posted on Instagram this one time when I was playing the psycho character. I was like, yo, you know, acting is nice because you can leave your character and hang them up. This is what happens in my mind. You hang them up literally fully and then you take this new outfit that you've just bought and you put it on and you go show it off. And mm. then you come back and you put this 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 back into the wardrobe and you take back. That's such an awesome metaphor. Yeah, that's such an awesome metaphor. That's how I feel when I when I do that because mm. I really I, I I love really going in. I really mm. love playing people and I want to feel them. And I don't want to bring Sandile into the character. Like mm. I don't want to say, I think my character would do this. I want to know that that's what my character, character would do. Would do yeah. I, want it, I want it to happen just instinctively. Yes. You know, I don't want to have to put thoughts behind it because yeah. then I'm thinking of Sandile. It's I'm not definitely, like, there's no yeah. nuances anymore. And I've tested this before mm. with, with, with previous characters. And I'm like, okay, if I think about a nuance and I say, okay, here it says he picks up the glass. And because I've thought about the nuance, he picks up the glass like this. I've thought about it. Mm. It comes off and I watch it. It comes off very performative. Mm. But if I, I, I am fully in the character, mm. a nuance that is just something that you didn't even plan 
my acting coach always used to say, surprise yourself, my darling. I didn't mm. know how that, what that meant. Mm. I didn't know what that meant. Until one day I actually did. Mm. And, and I reached for something and I finished my scene and they were like, dude, do you see what you did there? I'm like, what did I do? Mm. I'm like, you did that. And I, I'm like, they played it back. I'm like, I did that. I did that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I surprised myself. Yeah. You know, that was the character just being the character without me, me yeah. Yeah. planning yeah. movements for the character. Yeah. 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 Yo, that's crazy. I'm, I, I, yo, that's I'm, a difficult thing to overcome as well, man. Because, you know, playing with your mind and... Uh, oh, just, trust. Because literally making a simple cup of tea in front of camera can look so complicated or seem very complicated because you're thinking about true. it. That's very true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But so, in real life, you're just making tea. Just yeah, making tea. Yeah. And that's, that's acting for that's you. That's it. That's acting if you're really in there. You know, <laughs> yeah. when, you, when we're talking about uh, overcoming it, that's even the, 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 the worst. You know? Yeah. Mm. Uh, there's, this, there's a show now on Netflix called The, the, um, the Jeffrey Dahmer. Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes, yes Apparently yeah. he needs therapy now for that. Ooh. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if you heard that. Apparently he needs therapy. I know that, man. I, you know what I mean? It mm. gets to that level. Yeah. Like, like there was a character that I played on his Tim B so uh, cheese. cheese. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that character was crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, no, nah. that character was crazy. So you can you imagine? I had to split him into two. Mm. There's a point in time that people like I really wish a lot of people, a lot more people saw that. Uh, I split this character into two. You know, I was working with the directors and the writers very like hand in hand, and we split the characters into two. One was his innocent side, and the other was a combination of all his insecurities, Kids, yes. and they were always battling each other. And I think, I, I don't know, I've, I haven't seen this on South African television before, yeah. whereby the, the, the characters are actually speaking to one another and they'd, they'd be trigger points. It wouldn't be, a, mm. a, like, it wouldn't just show up, you know, because mm -hmm. we feel like making him show up. It'd be at very crucial points where yes. he's about to make crazy decisions mm. and, 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 and he'd show up because now when we have to make crazy decisions, sometimes our insecurities flare up, right? Mm. Like when mm. we have to... Make like, let's, let's say we have to now break up with our girlfriend. Mm. Our insecurity starts to mm. show up and mm. we start behaving mm. like children because of our traumas, our mm. childhood traumas. And that's what would happen to Cheese. And there was a lot more there. Now that character, <laughs> that character almost splintered my mind too. Really? Yeah, man. Yeah. Almost, Shit. I was walking around the mall wishing a nigga would. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah. I will stab you <laughs> right in now. the throat, my friend. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like even the, the producer at the time, when we when, when Cheese killed his first, his second person, mm. he was like, yo, are you okay? Mm -hmm. I'm okay. Like, are you sure? Like, yeah, I'm sure. Like, mm. Seriously, like, yeah. He's like, can you unclench your jaw then? <laughs> like, yeah, you, word, you, you really killed, killed that it. guy. Yeah. Like, you really killed that guy. And my agent at the time was like, Let's never go there again <laughs> to that level. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. So, yeah, it does get uh, mentally taxing. Man. Yo, that's dude, that's, yeah, that, 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 that's hectic. Eh? But, like, mm -hmm. let's talk about production a little bit. So, yeah. you've been on TV series that yeah. goes out for some time. Yeah. And you've been on movies that you got a short period to do it and you get it done. Okay. Now, from preparation point of view, we understand you went into detail what's involved. Yeah. But let's talk about from a production point of view, right? What would you say is the biggest difference from a movie production versus a TV production? Oh, a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah? A lot. Um, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a perfect world, I'm going to speak in a perfect world, uh, movies have more time. Mm -hmm. there's, there's, there's time to... I'm sure you've watched the movie and the character doesn't say anything, but the, his background says a lot. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Subtext. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay. Um, movies have the time to think about things like that, like mm -hmm. subtext. Let's tell the story without the, the actor speaking, you know. Mm -hmm. let's, let's shoot it. We are spreading it out. We don't have to do too much, you know. We're not relying on, on, on monetary value in the sense that, like, ad space and all oh, that okay, stuff, you okay, know. Okay, we don't okay. have to appease to a lot of different people. <clears throat> so TV, there's a lot that they, they're dealing with there. It's very rapid fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, on a perfect, in the perfect world, you're shooting about five scenes a day in a film. Mm. In a series, in a perfect world, you're shooting about 20. No <laughs> way. It's like, and, and you know what? Let me tell you something, man. You know, people always talk like, like they, they always say, oh, they always make me shoot this much. I know that they, they, they're going through a lot as well. Yeah. The producers are going through a lot as well, man. Like, they're just under pressure all the time. Mm. It's really not them. They're trying to give you the best that they can at the time. You know, like, I've seen it. I've seen it before. I've seen their eyes. And they'd be like, yeah, dude, you're... Nothing we can do. You have to shoot 20 it scenes. Is what it is. And you're crying in all the scenes. Mm. <laughs> I don't know how you're going to feel like afterwards, but I think we'll deal with that afterwards. You'll feel like now, crying afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> you feel like killing something. Yeah. Yeah. And they're like, no, but we'll deal with it afterwards. So mm -hmm. those are the differences, you know. Uh, television, there's, there's no time. It's, it's really chop, 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 chop. It's, it's, we're firing. 
mm. firing in all cylinders, you know. Mm. Others have it like lock on lock, like soapies, you know, the soapies, some of the soapies that I've shot, they have it on lock because it's, it's, an, it's a studio shoot. So yeah, there's a lot of things that they can control. Sure. Other places don't have it as, 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 as on lock. You know, telenovelas mostly because we're shooting outside. Mm. Yes. We're relying on the sun, the noise, the wind. They, there's just a lot going on. With the film, they don't have to deal with all of that. In fact, they, they do deal with all of that, but they have time to deal, to with, deal all with all of that. It, yeah. you know? So those are the differences. So would you say there's much more pressure when you're shooting a series? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, man. Yeah. If it's playing every day. Yeah, not, yeah, well, yeah. not a series, but a telenovela, long form. Yeah, yeah. If it's playing every day, you yeah. got yeah, you you know, to you gotta really shoot it out. Yeah. You, know, you got to shoot. And, and, and you got like one, two takes. Yeah. yeah. One, two takes. That's it? Yeah. TVC, uh, got, um, telenovelas and long forms. Yeah. One or two takes. After that, it's just like... Everybody you know starts getting frustrated. Yeah, I guess mad, yeah. Films, the director is the one who says, no more. Mm. I want more takes. Mm. I want more takes. There's a famous director, I don't know, international. I don't mm. know I don't know which one it is. But he made this actor do 55 takes oh, wow. of this one scene because he wanted to get him exhausted. So his his final take was the perfect, perfect. take for him wow. because he wanted to get him exhausted. <laughs> 55, 55 takes. takes. Can you imagine how much time Dude. and money, yeah. right? Yeah. So, uh, you know, TV doesn't have that luxury. Yeah. And I think yeah. that's what separates them. Sheesh. No, I've heard that a lot, man. My aunt actually plays Petronella on The uh, the Queen. Are you serious? That's my aunt, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. snap. <laughs> she plays it. So oh, she tells snap. me about it. Yeah. Like, mm. Joe, sometimes the scenes that she has running, you know, it's, yeah, it's overwhelming sometimes. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. but moving on to the next question, moving if on. you could create any TV show, right, with no budget constraints. Yeah. You have you have the feeling. <laughs> it just gets you excited. Oh my, no budget constraints. Heart. You can literally do anything you want with yeah. this TV. What would it be? I want to answer that question. You want to? I want to. I really do. I so really So then do. why does it feel like you're not going to answer, bro? Because because it's intellectual property. Oh. You know what I mean? Okay. It's intellectual. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. But you <laughs> saying that, that means you... you thinking of us. Yeah. 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 You're thinking <laughs> about something. Yeah. Hey, man. I'm in business, bro. He's thinking yeah. about it. He's yeah. thinking yeah. about it. That's intellectual no way, property, bro. Man. Okay, yeah. cool. Oh, man. So, so, so you on that side where you'd like to make your own stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's already in the in the, in the 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 talks. Oh, where, bro? It's in the talks. We have to, you know, yeah. like we we really have to because it's it boils back down to the fashion conversation, you know. Yeah. Mm. If you're not seeing what you want to see, make your own. And a lot of people have actually been saying that, like, yo, bro. I was talking to this this um a director, uh, who we shot Umbuso just now. Now sure. I'm talking mm. like, yo, dude, I can't wait to get a character that I do this and that and that and that and that. And he's like, then write it. Yeah, mm. and shoot it. Simple, simple. And he'd always say that to me. Yeah. Defeat me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> defeat write. me. So just write it and shoot it. Yeah. And I and and I, I could tell that he said he could see that I have the potential to. Mm. And I took it seriously. And I've been you know in the chats and everything like that. So there's, no, but there's, I can definitely see you're hungry. Yeah, sir. man. You know you're doing the brand stuff. You're mm. doing your acting, and now you're oh man, you're yeah, really man. hungry. Oh, sir. dude, yeah. come on. Man. You know I get, I love I'm it, just, bro. Just, I love just it. Doing me. I love it. I love it. You got me, bro. No, you got love one, sir. But. But just to give you a little smidge, the smidge of it, you know, sure. it's, um, it's what I'd love to see more of is a rendition of the past, but a a a, a from a different perspective. Okay, I can't give you too much. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's enough. We already yeah, got, got, got a rendition of, okay. but so you know, is a rendition of the past. <laughs> Me, I can go through. There's a lot. Yeah, there's, there's a lot. lot. No, yeah. I'm glad. Yeah, no, but we, we got something even more juicy. You yeah. made, you're in the works. Something is in the yeah, works. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the you works. did actually. Yeah, 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 that's even more juicy. Oh, bro. So <laughs> what's you. it? What's it called? Um, hot take. What do the What do the artists say? Oof. What do the the, the yeah. interviewer people say when they, when they when something new is, is on the show? Oh, there's a word. There is exclusive. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's exclusive. There we are. There we are. Right here at Comcast. Yes, Comcast straight, man. But you know. We know you're a very talented uh, 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 actor and like being a creative, I know that there's many other talented creatives out there. So who would you say you shared a screen with that is just blew you away from their talent and the way they play out their roles? Oh man, I'm a, sure there's a lot. There's yeah. a lot, but bro. who stood I, out to you the most? Yo, man, there's there's just so much. There's 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 a lot, you mm, know. And they mm. all did what they did in 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 the same quantity, just in different ways. Mm, okay. Yeah. So it's very difficult to pick one, you know. To, to then pick write three. down. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> um, firstly, it had to be U, U, uh, Hamilton Tamini. Oh, mm. I played ah, alongside of him, al alongside him in on his Timbi. So yes. and and cheese, man. I think he taught me a lot when, with regards to to presence. Mm. 
mm-hmm. to presence. Mm-hmm. That man is present when you're playing with him, you know. And 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 as when I, I was lucky enough to work alongside him, I was a right hand man, and we had a lot of scenes. And the more I learned, the more they com- they put us together. The yeah. more they were like, okay, actually they're the same. Let's let's, let's go, you know. Mm-hmm. Let's go. And and he taught me that presence, you know, his iconic role, Ubanzi on his temple. Oh, bro, the presence that he. That's on that road. Yo. You're like, amazing, amazing. Yeah. Another one is Warren Masimula. Oof. Sitcom that I played with him on Single Guys as well. He told me how to, how to, how to, how to have fun. Yes. That's it. He told me how to have fun. I know people watch his, his roles and they're like, yo, this guy, he's just so creative. And I think it, come, it stems from the fact that he's having fun. Mm. You know when you're having fun, dude, you're in, you're in mastery. Mm. I don't know if you know the book by Robert Greene. It speaks about mastery. You know that moment where you, you're, you're trying to unlock this screw with a screwdriver mm. and you're just about to get it and your tongue does this. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You're in mastery in that moment. You're in mastery of the moment. Mm-hmm. Uh, you are trying to figure out how to get this and your brain is racking and it's moving and it's all the focus is in this specific place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's mastery. And I discovered that in acting, when you're having fun, you're in mastery. mastery. You're, mm-hmm. you, you're being, that's, your, that's your creativity at play. You mm-hmm. are allowing it to just open up. And Warren, mm-hmm. you know, watching him play, I was like, dude, how do you do this? And he's like, I'm he's just too having fun. versatile. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's because he's having fun. Fun. And that's the bottom line. That's the bottom line of, crea- of, of creatives. And we get caught up in this whole thing where we have to see what's next. And it's not even our fault, dude. We have to, what's next? What are we doing next? Oh, financial constraints. Oh, 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 oh. That we forget to have fun. And mm. people want to see us have fun. And that's where the greatest creativity comes from, from having fun, doing what you want to do. And, mm. and, and that's what I learned, you know, from, from, from him. Yeah. Uh, third one. Third one is a split, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it's a split uh, between... U Mutlati Mafati and U Desmond Dube. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm on them. I'm with them on How to Win Christmas right now. Mm. And just watching them do their thing is just so amazing. And I think it, it's also them having fun. Uh, but but their, 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 their way of playing with others as well. You yeah. know, like Mutlati, there's this one scene on, on How to Win Christmas where I'm supposed to give my, 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 my wife the ring. Yeah. He has it, right? Yes. And it's not scripted, it's improv. Yeah. Well, he what he did was improv. was improv so i'm supposed to just reach back and get the ring from him you know and mm. because he knows that his characters are f- <laughs> and he kept that in his head <laughs> yeah he does this he's like you know like i lost the ring it's yeah. not in the it's not in the script, script. <laughs> and you should see my reaction yeah, because to, put you yeah. on the spot. Yeah. Yeah. you should see my reaction yeah. to him yeah. losing the thing yeah it was beautiful yeah. and i was like that's Yo, a character, an actor that will do that for you. 100%. Uh, a generous actor yeah. like that will do that for you. He's yeah. an amazing actor, you know. Yeah. He's like, and my, my reaction is like, and in my reaction, I'm like, did, I'm thinking in my mind, did they not give you the, the ring? Yes. <laughs> like, yes. Did they f- the scene? <laughs> you know, I'm saying that with my face. Yes. But it's coming off as, ah, oh, you did it again. You f- up. You yeah. know? And then he's like, nah, I'm playing with you. And he gave it to me. Yeah. And I was like, dude, that's generous. And, and so that's what Mutlati really taught me. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Desmond Dube told me improv. By watching him, actually, watching him improvise. His moments where he chooses the moments to improv. I mean, he won a SAFTA for that role, mm-hmm. you know, and he's nom- he was nominated again. I think, he, did he win? I, not too sure, but like for the most recent one, he was nominated too. It's his improvability, if that's a word. Mm-hmm. He improvises very well and he knows his moments. And I was watching him when my mom said, I watch him when he chooses to use them. He doesn't go over other people's lines. He waits for these dead spaces. Mm-hmm. And it's funny because it needs you to focus, to focus to find these dead spaces. Mm. They are dead spaces, you know, everything. You, radio, you know. Mm. Red, radio mm. Futi doesn't mm. love dead space. They mm. hate dead space. Mm. Mm. So acting, so they have there's moments where there's dead space and you can fill it in. Just a quick in, out, mm. you know. And he, he does that so well and he taught me how to do that just from mm. him watching it. So, mm. I hope I answered your question. Shit, no, yeah, you, you definitely know, you did. did. You went in detail <laughs> there, bro. Did, bro. We got much more than, than we wanted, <laughs> so thank you. Thank yeah. you for that there. Okay, well, if, when it comes to box office movies, let's talk about that, right? Uh-huh. If you could pick any box office movie to start in, which one would it be? Yo, if I, yo, if I tell you this, Nam, and it's, it's going to be for what you think it is, and I'll be honest. <laughs> yeah. I'll be honest. It's it's a Marvel movie. Now. Oh, okay. I'll tell you why. Man, it's because of the money. Yeah. Man. <laughs> man, man. Man, man. Man, let me not lie. Let me not try to <laughs> pretend like no. It's because I want to work <laughs> with. Because <laughs> I want to work yeah. with Viola. No, no, no. It's for the money, money. And, and it's because of, yeah, they make a lot of money there, and and and, and it's this, it's instant. You are good. Mm-hmm. If you're in a Marvel movie, it's instant. You are good. good. You are good. You're live. Yeah, you said. Yeah, you said. Yeah. You said. You know, and if you kill it, you know, it's your role. It's your responsibility to kill it. Kill if him. you kill it. 
Oh, bro, you'll be Wolverine you for how yeah. long was he Wolverine oh. for? Mm. 14 years. Sheesh. Can you He's imagine? Still coming mm. back for Deadpool. Can you imagine, imagine. 14 mm. years of the bag of a Marvel bag? Mm. That's crazy, oh, my yeah. guy, mm. come on. Man. Marvel, we got the next uh, Black Panther. Right? <laughs> hey, man. Hey. <laughs> Wakanda forever. <laughs> Did you guys pick that? Wakanda no. forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, but uh, that, that, that's crazy. But like, let's talk about Marvel, right? There's so many roles in Marvel, so many different characters, okay? So now you're in the Marvel, you're part of the universe now. Yeah. Which role? I love this. We're creating the thing for yeah, you. Yeah, okay. bro. We're manifesting. <laughs> yeah, we're okay. Which role in Marvel would be the best, most iconic role for you that that you think will will suit you best? Oh, I love villains. Oh, I love villains. I love yeah, villains. I love um, villains and I'll tell you why. Because mm. people are like, when you're turned, you act like my character, like what's <laughs> You know, and, and yeah. let me tell you why. Yeah. I believe, I feel um, that villains are. Re- I'll start here, very shallow, but yeah, I'll start there. I feel like villains are written better. Uh, they really are. Definitely. There's, there's you know, because the hero and the, um, the, the, the next door neighbor, no, not, not next door neighbor, mm. the boy next door, mm. the boy next door is always very just, I'm for justice. Mm. I'm for, I'm good. not telling us why. Yeah. Why are you for justice? Yeah. Is it because you're strong? Now you're going to say, I'm going to be for justice, yeah. you know? Villains have reasons as to why, why they are the way that they are. Sure. And I feel like, Every human being has the potential to be one. And I, I had a lot of conversations with this. Like, no, I don't have the potential to be that. You just haven't been in that, in that experience. Mm. And me tapping into villains, I realized that um, upbringing, environment, plays a crucial role. Crucial. Nobody's born a villain, dude. They're made. Villains are made mm. based on environment, based on mm. upbringing, based on all of those kind of things. And I think people seeing it as alo is, is, is sort of just not doing it any justice at all. Mm. You know, it's like that person is a real person who existed and they had dreams and they had goals. Yeah. Something must have happened. What? And that's the what that I always try to find when I play a villain. I'm like, what happened? What really happened to make this person? Because that could have been you. Yeah. It really could have been. So Marvel, I like playing the villains. This new villain that I watched on Thor, Thor, uh, the second one, Love and Thunder. Yeah. I didn't like that movie. Yeah. You guys like that movie? Did you watch that movie? Yeah, I watched it. I watched it. It's, it's not for us. Yeah. It's really not for us. It's for, the, it's for the kids. Yeah. But there's a scene where it goes black and white and mm. they go into the dark dimension. Oh, yes, mm. yes, yes, and they yes, see, yes, and, yes. And, and they have this, this, this whole interaction with Goro. Mm, mm. Oh, man. He killed it, though. That's oh. what I'm saying. Yeah, he killed it because he made that movie. That's yes. what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 Christian yeah, yeah. Bale, Christian one of my Bale, favorite yeah, actors. Yeah. Oh. He really made that thing, man. Yeah. And, and that's when I was like, yes. Mm. And that's the kind of villain that I want to play. Oh, where, bro? If I were to play in a Marvel movie. Something with reason. You saw, we have a backstory for everything. everything. We, have, we have it. He, you know, he had, a, he had hope. Mm. And the hope was crushed. Mm. His daughter died. So he's like, what? I'm coming. Yeah. And it's a beautiful arc thing. Yeah. Because even Thor was <laughs> in it, but if it wasn't for him, it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been what it been is. What it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. Joker is definitely a very similar role as exactly. well. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So yeah, 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 I definitely yeah, exactly. get where you're coming from. I, I, don't, I don't know about, about playing, a, playing Joker. Joker I, I, no, I, that one. Yeah. I mean, it's, 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 it's iconic, but... It's sh- an honor too. But it's an honor too, it's but it's a lot, my guy. <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's, it's a lot. And, and because there's so much pressure on it already, it's like, you, know, you will want to lock yourself up in a... In a in a room for a year yeah. preparing for that thing yeah. and and that's bad for your mind it really yeah. is it's not it can't be good you know yeah yeah well guys on that note we're going to be back with sandile after this ad break but do not forget that here at kong republic for concast we have been nominated by the african social entertainment awards for podcast of the year yeah. ladies and gentlemen <laughs> please do not forget to vote SMS R2 Kong Republic to 48068. Or you can also go on to the link, which is www.aseaawards.com slash voting. You can vote as many times as you want. Many as well. times, guys. As go many for times it. as you want, guys. But we're going to be back right after this ad break. Now, for a limited time, get your exclusive photo shoot for only 2,450 Rand and get a free A1 canvas print. This special includes 20 high resolution images, 3 hours of editing and retouching, 2 background options of your choice, includes photographer, gear hire, assistant, and refreshments. Get your exclusive photo shoot done at Kong Republic Studios based here in Kyalami Midrand. Hey, welcome back, Conquerors, to another feature episode of Concast with the one, the only, Mr. Sandile Matangu. Hey. Ah, 
Uh, lovely having you here, my G. Thank you, man. Thank, oh, you, yeah, you. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Uh, hundreds. Yeah, you know, yeah. one, one thing I want to ask is um, to diversify, right? Because it's hard as an actor to not be typecast. People yeah. see you in a certain way. Yeah. They think, ah, you know what? This guy, romantic novels the whole way, you know? Mm. So how do you diversify as an actor to not be typecast and be considered for basically every role? I think, I think it's easier now than it was then. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> now, you know, they only saw you when they saw you on TV or they saw you on, on films and stuff. And right. so they'd be like, let's use him for that. Mm. Let's do mm. that. That's what he does. And then, you know, people know him as the villain. Why, why, you know? But now we have, we have social media where you can actually show your presence. You can actually show who you really are, you know? And so sure. people know, you know, there's more sides. He's, it's multifaceted. There's more sides to him. He's not just a villain, you know? Like, for instance, um, yes, I like playing villain roles. And that's not because I'm typecast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's just I really you like playing. I enjoy yeah. them, you know? Yeah. It's not that, you know, I can't play other things, but I just enjoy them. Yeah. If, a, if, a, if a character comes that, 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 that really excites me, that's in a different way then I'll play it e.g. How to Ruin Christmas mm. Butwala is the softest guy ever he's right. a loving guy he loves his wife he always wants to make sure everybody's like playing together yeah. everybody's nobody's hurting each other <laughs> then we juxtapose that with a person like on, on, on Scandal for instance mm. uh, Seymour was always thinking about himself. Self, he wanted sure. to see what he's benefiting from, from this, you know? And so, yeah, like, how do you stop being typecast? It's easier now. It's, it's not even a thing that I think can happen. Just be on, be, be present, be in people's faces, be present on social media, uh, go live with people. I do skits and that's how people know that I'm, I do comedy. Yeah. That's how people know that I, I have a, some sort of comedic timing because the skits that I do. So it's easier now. I, and I don't know whether it's a skill or what, bro, but like you, you, you're just so good at doing so many different things, which is fantastic, you know? Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know if it's, I was, I've never thought of that, by the way. This mm. is you, like, I've never thought, you see what you're saying? It's mm. a skill. Mm. I've never thought of it being a skill. Mm. I've just always thought, about, uh, thought of it as doing what I like. You know, and I think if, if we're going to do things based on do I have the skill for it or not, we're going to limit us, limit ourselves. Mm. Yeah. Mm. We're going to limit ourselves because mm. I don't know if I can't do something if I don't know that mm. thing. Sure. I don't know. Let me find out. And if I get there and I like it, continue doing it. Yes, mm. I can't throw a ball, but I like throwing a ball. Mm. I'm going to continue throwing a ball yeah. and eventually I'll be good at it. Mm. You know. Mm. So if, if that's a no, skill. No, yeah. that, that's definitely a skill. You build the skill. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the skill in the mind yeah. to be able to tell yourself exactly, that. Exactly, because you, you're doing this and you, you're like eliminating boundaries and yeah, now you're yes. open to everything. Yeah, yeah. Which is, yeah, which yeah, is exactly definitely like a skill in my opinion. Yeah. But you mentioned something very, uh, t t you know, very, very important that you said social media. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about more of the social side of it, right? Mm -hmm. We know social media is a massive thing. It's very important. But as a actor, how important is having a social media presence? And which platform would you say is the most important within your essay? Um, you know, Will Smith... Will Smith was not on Instagram mm. or Twitter or Instagram or, 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 or TikTok. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And he posted a video that, that really resonated with me. He said, you know, back in the days, you had to be mysterious if you had to be an actor. Yes. <clears throat> you had to keep people, keep people guessing. They mm. can't see your cards. Mm. And then he, the reason why he joined it is like, he understood that it's a different time now. Mm. It's a really different time. And we have to move with the times. He understood that television is slowly but surely moving digital. And where is digital? It's on the phones. So mm. the new television is basically the phones. I mean, mm. people still do watch TV and everything. They stream things on the, the TV and stuff. But most of the time, people's attention is on their phones. So that's the new TV. That's mm. where the money is. And so social media <clears throat> is the reason why you need to be there. You need to be... People these days, and I won't mention names, but I saw a TikTok um, famous person mm. get more love than a person who's been in our industry for decades mm, mm. and this is an, an establishment <coughs> right they'd be like oh hey mm. yeah you see this over there then the tiktok uh, person comes in it's like hey what up what up what up you know yeah. back then that would be that person that you know one, and yes. it's not even because they don't like the person or they like this person more it's because they're more exposed to this person this tiktok person mm. more than they are with the other person other things, so social media is extremely important you know i've always had this conversation with uh, a couple of my other actor colleagues and stuff mm. and they'd be like i don't do Instagram or TikTok or social media because I'm a thespian. Yes, mm. <laughs> you know, and I always say to the, I always say, look, look, and I and I and I don't want to say like this, but thespians are broke, man. 
Yeah. Uh, not in that. Not in that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not in that way. Yeah, that way. <laughs> not in that way. Bro, I never expect yeah. that. No, oh, oh. Sorry. Guys. And I'm gonna back it up. I'm gonna back what I'm saying up. I'm gonna yeah. back what I'm saying up. Yeah. It's not their fault. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I think that's important to say. It's not their fault. Uh, we just so happen to be thrown in such a place where we love doing this thing, but this thing is not loving us back. Uh, and it's really not our fault. We That's are amazing. All know, of them are amazing. But but I totally understand what you're saying. It's like shooting now in black and white. Yeah. You wouldn't. That's not what the audience want to see. There's so much more to offer. To and them. more, man. There's, there's, there's this, you know, the South African Guild of Actors has been fighting for, mm. for, 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 for royalties for our, for our actors, mm. right? Like, like, come on. You know what I mean? Like, it's just very simple. Get Just sign the bill so that the actors can get royalties. Mm. Mm. Now we have veterans that we grew up watching who inspired us as kids who are Begging for money like, on TikTok, bro. on t- and social media. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's that kind of thing, and mm. that's the thing that I always avoid. Like, if I'm if I like a person, and we have conversations. I always try to avoid, and I, I say, "Look, dude, I understand. I understand. I really do." But the sy- system right now is 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 against us fully. Yes. And so you need to make sure that you you get other means of income. And social media is kind to people who are on television right now. And I really want you to hop on. Mm. I really want you to be able to fund yourself while you do what you love. Mm. You love what you do. You're a thespian yes definitely i love what i do i'm a thespian too but i had to come to terms with the fact that uh i'll need to make other forms of income mm-hmm. if i want time. to continue <coughs> doing what i love 100 you know? definitely yeah. i 100 agree with yeah. you so yeah. because i do believe that like for, for for example i mean we we really want to get our network right but everything we before we even go on network we'll probably have like 50 of it on our youtube channel because i do feel like if i want the brand kong to survive the next 20 30 40 50 years mm. social media is going to be key to it of course so it's going to be key of you course know? we can already see immediately we're getting more recognition uh, recognition than any other studio in the country at mm. the moment mm. and we just newbies in the game yeah you yeah, know yeah, we yeah. just bought the ball we're just getting started off yeah. but we but more people is knowing us now than you know, than some of the bigger studios. I'm not going to mention names, but, yeah, the, yeah. but the bigger studios out there, you know? And because I think social media is absolutely key to it's everything. Important. Super it's important. It's the new TV. Yes. Yes. Let's be honest. That's it. That's it. It's a new TV. It's the new, new TV. TV. Social media is the new TV. Yeah. Let's be honest, man. Have yeah. you seen what it's been doing for these TikTok kids? Oh, Have you seen? Yeah, Have you unbelievable. Seen? It's yeah. In fact, it's, it's changing big, lives. It's big, it, because they're on TikTok and stuff, they, they have to be on TV now, you yes. know? They're getting on TV, TV because, oh, why would you not want to have that person? Exactly. Yes. No, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 So, well, I mean, us talking about social media, your following on Instagram, TikTok, you know, pretty high. More yeah. than 100,000, right? Yeah. On, I mean, on Instagram alone as well. Yeah. I want to ask um, the effect of a TV show, like being on a, having a consistent role on a TV show like is Timby, so, yeah. and uh, Single Guys, you know, everything that you've been on, how did that really uh, affect the following as well? Because it's, it's I, I'm sure it's different than just appearing, having like a cameo. A cameo. Or, yeah. Like, it's, you know what it is? It's, it's, it's all about the ARs, uh, which is like, you know, the viewership. Sure. I think the higher the viewership, the 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 the, the higher your following will right. be. You know, it's just right. very interesting because people these days don't like following each other. <laughs> <They> like <laughs> following each other, it's very difficult to get followers these days. Yeah. But um, for 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 instance, when I got into Timbu, so it's a long-running show. It had viewers at the time. Yes. My following j- jumped right. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> then I did a uh, film. I did a uh, sitcom, mm. um, and and my followers were still stagnant. But it was the people that um that already followed me. They right. Saying, oh, I followed you for this. You know, I'm glad you're doing it still. Sure. And and then I got onto Scandal. Yes. I don't know how much, how many millions they have now. They have like about four or five. I'm not sure what, what it's looking like there. Like four or five million. That, yo, tr- tripled or doubled. Doubled yeah. my, my, my following just like that. Quick, you know? quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially like on Facebook. Yo, mm. Facebook. I was on 167,000. I'm now on 670,000. Yes. It was just like boom, almost instantly. So... Being on long running shows definitely will increase your following mm-hmm. more than a series here and there, you know, like, mm-hmm. or a lot of multiple series throughout sure. the year. So mm-hmm. long running, I think they feel connected to you in a sense because they see you every day. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, a, a lecturer of mine at TUT said this to me. She's like, he's like, come on, man. It's good to see you, you know? I'm like, yeah, I don't think you understand. Like, you, you're like furniture to me, you know? <laughs> like, I, I eat with, with my family and you're there on TV, you know? Uh, so, yeah. so we feel like we're eating it's, with you, yeah, you know? So right. that's the sort of relationship you get with your, with your, with your supporters yes. and that's why they follow you because they want to carry this thing on from just 30 minutes a day to let me see what he's up to every, uh, all hours of the day, sure. you know? So that's why I think is the, math, the mathematics. Yeah, 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 yeah. When it comes to... Very, very good answer, yeah, very good answer. But 
<coughs> okay, I need to ask a question. This is for my wife mainly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so she loved your mo- mo- uh, the movie How to Ruin Christmas, Christmas right? Yeah. She really, she really enjoyed it. She think you killed <laughs> yeah, it as she well. Yeah, she loves right? it. Uh, I mean, like uh, because as soon as she found out um, that you're coming in, she's like, oh, you know, she got excited yeah, yeah. and yeah. that, you know. And she, let me just tell you, she never comes down. We get celebrities coming here all the <laughs> yeah, time, really? all yeah, the time. She, oh, I feel special. You know, you know she never yeah, feels special. She can't imagine she's yeah. here. So, describe your experience on that day. How was it like? Doing the critically that movie? acclaimed because yeah. so many people love that movie. Mm. Man. Oh, it's big, man. It's like mm. it's huge, dude. Like I think first season we got like sixteen nominations on. Mm. The mm. We took eight or something like that mm, yeah. to show. Uh, shooting that thing was amazing, man. Yo, 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 yo. It was amazing. It really revitalized my my energy in in, in acting and castings and all that stuff. It really mm. did because you know Netflix came and they said, okay, we're gonna throw a bag. We want mm. you guys to shoot this thing and make sure it's crisp. Here's the bag. Mm. You know, um, first season we were shooting during lockdown, like the first scary one, right? That mm. one that you don't touch oh. me because you're gonna kill me, kind of thing. Mm. So what what they did was they put us all in a bubble whereby we're staying in one location. We're not allowed to go outside. We just only have each other. No way. Wow. Seriously. That's yeah. hectic, bro. Yeah, we're not allowed to go outside. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Everybody's tested. Everybody's proven you, you're good. We're mm. staying together. So there's no way it'll come in. Come in. So yeah. we were together there for like, I think a month or six weeks. Mm. And, and that, that actually worked out amazing for us because that's where we built the chemistry. That's where we became a family. Mm. You know, you need each other. Where mm. you're like, I miss my family. I was with these people for lockdown for six months doing nothing, just seeing them to all of a sudden not being there with them. Yeah. You know, mm. you feel like there's a lack there. And then mm. the people that you're with there, because they're all so great and they're all so beautiful, um, their souls are amazing. Mm. They fill those blanks and they did, right? And you mm. became a family. Mm. And luckily we're shooting a family show. Sure. Mm. And and it was amazing. And you can see that resonated on screen. Yeah, yeah. Yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You definitely see that. Like, you know, when you have that chemistry where you can finish a person's sentence sure. just to yeah. bug them. And, <laughs> you know, it's, sure. it, yeah, like, it, it, yeah. It, that's what was sh- shown in the, in the show, you know, like mm. the, the sister. Sister, brother, sister, brother, sister relationship were sure. like this. Mm. The married people were like this. You know, the, you know, it was amazing. Mm. And for me personally, working with all those veterans, right? I was the youngest one there. Mm. They all like been in the yeah. game for longer than ten years. All of them, mm. right? Mm. And I did them. I know. I did. I googled. Yeah. And that's because I was anxious as hell. Like, <laughs> oh my god, what this is? Who oh, am I with? Person? Yeah. Oh, they started in nineteen. Yo, you know. Mm. But they welcomed me. They welcomed me. They they were there to play. Mm. Those yeah. are veterans. They made me understand why they're veterans. You know, people fall off and people stay and become veterans or legends. Yes. And there's a reason to that. And they showed me why why they stayed there, why they stayed there for so long. Mm. You know, an actor who's going to see something in you and try to take it out of you. Mm. You know, a person who's very giving like that will always receive 10 times pressed down, shaking together, running over, you know, that kind of mm. thing. And, and yeah, it was a beautiful experience. Learned a lot from them. Yeah, but you definitely see it on screen. Yeah, yeah. you man, guys yeah, killed it. Yeah, yeah, man. You can't shut up can't about it. Season <laughs> three. I can't wait yeah. to see season three. Season yeah. three. Season three is oh, dropping. Oh, we can't wait as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so when is dropping? December. Oh, I'm not too sure when. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not too sure when. Oh, but this is going to be exciting. Oh, bro, exciting times. Amazing, right? amazing season. Um, through everything, it was 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 quite difficult to shoot. Um, given um, Busi Lukai passing away. Oh, yes, yeah, yes. So, so yeah. Went, yeah, she yeah, was, you man. know, the, the, the Busi character. Busi, yeah. Busi character. Um, it was a surprise. It was, it was, it was yeah, it was, it was, it was, Big surprise. was, was, was difficult, but we, mm. we managed, you know, and we, it sort of united us more, you know, mm. let's, let's do this for her. Let's push, you know, let's make sure it's like the best season ever. It's just, in, you know, in remembrance of her. So, yeah. so it was amazing. I'm sure you guys are going to kill it. Oh man. Nah, yeah. they're going to kill it. Definitely, mm. man. Yeah. What? Of all everything you've experienced right now in your career, what is your proudest moment in your career thus far? Ooh, we uh, uh, see that that, car- that question. Yeah. That question is testing me because it's like it's asking me if I'm grateful enough. You know, when you're grateful enough, you can't recall <laughs> these things immediately. Yeah, you know? nah, I mean, uh, come on. So I might not be as grateful as I thought I'd be. Um, my proudest moment was the ability to, and this is actually from 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 this is actually big actually that I'm doing this mm. um so my younger brother right mm. high school wasn't doing too well he wasn't doing too well you know he wasn't one of those people with maths and science he wasn't really that mm. but he was intelligent though you know those kinds right yeah and and he received a lot of hate from that because he's not doing well in school but i knew he was intelligent right mm. Mm. and and me moving the way that i did in the in my career mm. inspired him to then go 
look, I also want to be somewhere in the arts. Oh, okay. And and he did graphic design. And I was there for him and he was there for me and we we're working together, working together. And then now, fast forward later, he's working in Santon. He's working for high paying, you know, gra graphic Jeez. design sort of thing. Mm. And I think my proudest moment was when he sat me down and told me that story and said, look, I made that decision because you made that decision. Wow. You painted the way for me. Oh, you know? weird, and man. I was like, oh, I got goosebumps. That is amazing. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's amazing. I'm like, oh, man, I didn't even know that I was doing that. It's like, yeah. And he always has this joke. It's like, you're the, you're the prototype. Yeah. Mm. I'm the one that's after the prototype. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I love that because yeah. that's the reason why, you know, I, I I did what I did, man. I wanna I wanna I wanna make sure that you guys are doing what you're doing do too it. and do it to your fullest and not because other people told you to do that. You mm. have the decision to choose what you want to do and do it because you want, want to do it, not because mm. other people. Mm. You know, mm. because then you'll be living with guilt and resentment the whole your whole life because mm. you're like, I could have been, I could have done, I could have, I could have, just do it. Let's mm. see what happens. But it's crazy that you say that, sir, because, you know, statistically, and this is statistically, right? Mm. People that's intelligent, book smart, they, you know, in the real world, they find it challenging, you know, to maneuver and move around. Mm. And people that really isn't book smart, you know, people that suffer and hardly make it. And, I, and I'm telling you, because I'm one of those people. Bro. Yeah. Grade 10 was the best two years of my life, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? And, yeah. you know, I, 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 it's, it's really hectic because, you know, I, 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 I'm amazed, like, you know, that, that everything that's kind of happening at the moment. But, like, at that moment, I was like, yo, you know, I, I remember my Afrikaans teacher telling me, you know, if you work as a garbage, uh, someone in the garbage industry, mm. you'll get, like, uh, insurance and you get medically. And I was like, yo, this could be, like, a, working as a garbage yeah, man could be yeah. a serious thing, you know. Yeah. But, like, you, you know, the, in the real world, even Albert Einstein got kicked out of school and he is mm. very intelligent, you know. I, I, I don't, um, I, I really, I don't think the school system is built correctly or designed correctly. Mm. It, it, and, and you get like prototypes like you who kill it at everything, bro. Yeah. But like, I, I do believe that like, you know, like, you know, people like your brother and me who we fall in the same category, you know, the, we find the real world a lot more easier to maneuver mm. than the school. educational yeah. world, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, because yo, school was really an uphill yeah, battle. Yeah. I mean, mm. I did functional math and I, you know, yeah, I was yeah, still yeah, a yeah. real yeah, uphill yeah. battle, rough, you know? Yeah. But but I'm good at business, you know, yeah. it's, it's weird, it's really weird. So I don't subscribe to like the whole school thing, you know, and in fact, like, you know, when, when we employ people here today, we, we don't look at their qualifications and stuff, we look at their skill set, mm. you know, and, um, you know, everything we do in here, I mean, I don't have a production background, but, I, you know, I directed some of the biggest ads in the country, mm. you know, it, it's, 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 it's purely whatever you put your mind to, you you'll, can, you'll definitely you simply do it. You know, that's what I love about creatives. Um, I'm going to go... I'm going to veer off a bit, yeah, but I mean, yeah. we're, we're closing yeah, no, off. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a veer off quickly. I know we're running out of time. I, I get it. <laughs> but one thing I love about sitting with creatives and creative people in general, yeah. uh, you know, I'll tell you my belief about what creativity is. And, and it's, it's, it's a belief. It's not, I'm not throwing it out there for people, you know. It's just a different way of, th of seeing it, sure. you know. We, I, I always sit there and I'm like, you know, I've had the craziest conversations with creatives more than I would with people who aren't creative, okay, sure. right? And I wondered, because I always asked the whys and the hows and whys, you know? And then I went back in time and I was like, okay, who is the original creator of the world, right? It's God, mm, the original mm, creator, right? Mm, uh, he has created. Of the universe. Right? Of the universe. Yeah. He created it, right? Mm. What did he use to create it? Mm. Creativity, mm. right? Sure. So I realized that, that what if creativity is the actual holy state? I mean, that resonates, oh, you know what I mean? Because wow, okay. the creator that's, that's created that is, that is, you know, that's, the universe. Yeah, that is you know what I mean? Yeah, because yeah. it has to be. Has you to really be. think about it. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me break it down for you guys because yeah. you might be asking. Let me break it down for you guys. Musicians. Mm. I love musicians because they're amazing. And I say this because they have a thought. Mm. They think of something, right? Mm. And it's not tangible. It's somewhere up in the, in the, in the astral plane. Mm -hmm. And they transmute that energy that's traveling in the astral, in the astral plane and they bring it down into existence. Mm. And they create this thing and they make it vibrate. Mm. And it vibrates into your eardrum and it makes you feel something. That's magic. Yeah, straight. That's magic. Yeah. That is power. Yeah. That's creation. Yeah. That's creativity. You know, it has to be a specific state that you get into. It's it's, it's a holy state, it you know. Is, man, yeah. And so that you, if, if a creative spend a lot of, a lot more time in their right side of the brains, which is the creative side of the brain, mm. and that's the side where we communicate with God more. Mm. 
uh, the, lo the logic side is more about survival and logic and what's making sense right now. Mm -hmm. And I realized that the more you spend time in the creative side, uh, is the more you can open, you become more open-minded. You become, mm -hmm. you can listen to different people say different things and you learn more things, mm -hmm. you know? And one thing is amazing, because we're all from God, we all have that in us. We are yes. all holy. Mm -hmm. We all have creativity. Even the one that's sitting in the office typing down, that's, there's creativity in that too. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's just in a specific way. They are also creators. They just don't know it. They don't identify right. as such. So they, they don't allow themselves to learn more. They become closed off and such mm -hmm. and such. But creators, I've sat there, man, and I'm listening to these people speak. And I'm like, wow, you guys are blowing my mind. Mm -hmm. And for a person to blow your mind, they have to be in a different vibration yeah. for them to blow your mind, you for know? Sure. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so you speaking like that sort of made me want to talk about Oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. Thank you, sir. Ah, Thank yeah. you. Yeah, but man. like, you know, you've been blowing our mind this whole conversation. Yeah, to be honest crazy. with you, bro, I'm so... You yeah. you taught me more about acting than I learned in this little in the in this time we spend yeah. than I know my whole life. Oh snap! You know if you ever need a fat, <laughs> fat Indian guy on set, just let me know, bro. You oh, know snap. he inspired me. Bro. Oh man, come <laughs> no, on, no, man. But, but check it, man. Jokes aside, like I think, like yo, bro, you have been so the gem the gems you have dropped is just no, been, been mind beautiful. blowing, bro, mind blowing, and it's mm. so good to get an insight because we always see the character, mm. we don't see the man behind the character, and it's yeah. so good to see it, man. So firstly, we want to just say thank you so much for coming to our studios thank you, for having me. Thank you so man. much we yeah. really 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 yes. appreciate it and you know you're part of the family now bro oh yeah. sweet man yeah. you're part of the family i'm gonna you know? utilize you, <laughs> you <know? laughs> i'm gonna utilize yeah. you yeah, you know <laughs> let's do it we have a lot of alcohol here behind the scenes right? <laughs> wait man don't lie yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we, and we <laughs> were, and yeah, yeah, you know, it's cold. We gave it's on ice, bro. Yeah. You just come through, but like, yeah. <laughs> man, you know, please feel welcome to walk in these doors anytime. Yeah. We are so excited to have you here yeah. and for you to be on our podcast. Yeah. We really are, sure. yeah. and uh, you know, we, you know, to thank you, we're going to offer you a quick photo shoot, bro, valued cool. at three grand. So thank you so much. We cool. really, really appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, you know, you'll kill it as usual. You know, yeah. <laughs> that's my boy Pizas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. PJ, PJ, PJ in the building. PJ right here, man. Man. Yeah, where, bro? <laughs> Pull up with him, maybe yeah. might you know. I don't know. I'm trying to get him to be here, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no, no. no. So, yeah, we all part of the family, man. Yeah, bro. We mean? all part of the family. 100%. But yeah, man, thank you so much. And uh, just a quick one: when, when you got uh, that camera there, please yes. tell the audience what to expect from you and uh, oh, you know, yeah. what we yeah, yeah, see yeah, coming from you. Oh, so yeah, it's been a, it's been a really crazy year for me. Um, there's been things that have been out, but I want to talk about the ones that are coming. So I have been on a, I'm, I've been on a movie. Uh, there's a movie right now, a trailer just dropped. It's called Jereza. It's going to be on EVOD. Mm. Uh, check that out. I shot that with Yellowbone. And also, Cogito Ergo Sum. That one is a very interesting one for me. It's a film about uh, a, a person who's going through memory loss. And he sits there with his therapist and they try to figure it out together. And it has a lot of twists. It's mm. crazy. It's a crazy movie. It's called Cogito Ergo Sum. Also, look out for How to Run Christmas Season 3 on Netflix. You know, 190 countries are going to be watching this. Oh, I want you guys amazing. to be a part. Let's go. I want you guys to be a part of that too. Let's go. You know, it's dropping in December. I'm not too sure about the date, but it's going to be amazing. Season 3. Okay, please check it out. Also, follow me on Instagram, M underscore. Follow me on TikTok. I'm there too. I'm dropping some skits there. Things that you can't drop on Instagram, yes. I drop them on, on TikTok. So if yes. you want to see the that other side of me, you will find me on TikTok, Sandy Liam underscore. Thank you for having me, guys. It's been amazing. Haven't shared this much information in a while, in a so while. I guess God was with us today, right? Ah, yeah, God was bro. definitely here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much, you so bro. Much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well, guys, on that note, that is us signing out here on Concast in Kong Republic with the one, the only, Mr. Sandy Liam Asangu. Guys, uh, it's been a good one. Great episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. But until then, from everyone in the studio, we say safe. And go and vote for us, guys. Go and vote for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, vote yeah. for us too. <laughs> vote for us as well. Vote for us on the ASEA Awards, ladies mm -hmm. and gentlemen. Yes, the African Social Entertainment Awards. Please make sure you do SMS R2 Kong Republic to 48068. And, and I just want to say thank you all guys for actually oh, watching. Man. I mean, yes. we wouldn't be nominated. We didn't expect it. Yeah. I mean, we <laughs> really, really just a business. Oh, man. And yeah, to the fact that, you know, we get invited to a whole bunch of celebrities is absolutely <laughs> no, amazing. It's a great you know? honor. It's oh, a great so, honor. Yeah. That's, that's, that's nice. Man. So yeah. thank you guys. Without you this is not possible. Definitely, guys. But yes, from everyone here at Kong Republic, we'd like to say safe. Bye, guys. Kong. Kong Republic I like Kong. Speaking your truth on the mic Kong. Hit the subscribe and like Time to Kong.